Alyssa and welcome to my NaNoWriMo blog number 33. It is the last day of NaNoWriMo. Yes, it is the 30th of November and that means the word count goal for today is 50,000 words. As I was going through my buddies list and writing down the list of names of the people that will be in today's congratulations corner, I saw that a lot of you are two to 3,000 words away from winning NaNoWriMo. And when you think about it, that's not really that bad. I am so proud of everyone that has won so far and everyone that is so close to winning. I'm gonna take this now because I might forget to do it later, but I have 13 names on the congratulations corner list today and that is more names than I have ever had on the congratulations corner. However, this is people from yesterday and today, but still 13 names on today's congratulations corner. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm also going to be doing a complete list of all my buddies that have won at the end of the day. Um, the end of the day for me is going to be about 10 o'clock, so if you win after 10 o'clock, you're still a winner, but you won't be on this list. I will put it under the discussion um, tab on my YouTube page, and you can go there and I will list everyone's name that has won NaNoWriMo that is in my buddies list and give you one last congratulation. So today's video is about things that I have learned from NaNoWriMo because this is the first year that I was doing NaNoWriMo and I actually got a um, message from John who gave me many different vlog ideas. I have mentioned him before and it was a very sweet message and it made me smile and I was just thinking about all the things that NaNoWriMo has taught me since this is my first year doing NaNoWriMo. So I am going to share with you some things that I have learned. But before we get into that list, I am going to tell you the quote of the day. The quote is from Greg Anderson and it is incredibly applicable to NaNoWriMo and its participants. Focus on the journey, not the destination. Joyce found not in finishing an activity, but in doing it. And that could not be a truer statement, as NaNoWriMo is technically over, or almost over. Um, I am, I am sad that it's over. Of course, I will be able to write any day of the year that I choose. NaNoWriMo is something special, and I have met so many amazing people along the way. And I am so grateful that I had all of you guys on this journey with me, and I don't think I would have finished NaNoWriMo if you guys hadn't been there. I thank you guys so much. There's, I, I cannot put into words how grateful I am for every one of my subscribers on YouTube, for every one of my NaNoWriMo buddies, for everyone that has left a comment on any of my videos. I am very thankful for all of you guys. So I have come up with a list of eight things that I have learned during NaNoWriMo for my first year that I'm going to share with you guys and hopefully if it is your first year of NaNoWriMo, you can either relate. Um, or that they will help you in future years. And even if this isn't your first year of NaNoWriMo, I still hope they are helpful to you. The first thing that I wrote down is write when you can. Now, what I mean is not when you have the time to do so. Of course, you, you need to write when you have the time to do so, but it goes into another point that I have later on. Write when you can, meaning write when you really want to. When you have the ideas in your head, write them down. Write to your heart's content. Write as many words as will come. I made the mistake of confining myself in the beginning of NaNoWriMo this year to writing 1,667 words a day and not really allowing myself to go over 2,000 words by much. Um, and that was a mistake. I should have written when I... I still won NaNoWriMo, so it wasn't a huge problem, but I still should have written when I had more to say. Um, I made the mistake of not doing that, and that is definitely something that I have learned from this year and will not be repeating that same mistake again next year. The second one is do not sweat about word count. Now, yes, you are probably entering NaNoWriMo with the hopes of winning NaNoWriMo, and therefore word count is a very important part of winning NaNoWriMo. However, when you are writing, don't think about it. Just write. Don't think about how many words you're writing at the time. You can always go back and check once the inspiration has run dry, and you can see if you've met the word count for today, and if you haven't, take a break and come back a little bit later. You don't have to sit there, put the word count goal into the Scrivener target counter thing, 
and just watch that little bar on the side of the screen go from red to green. Just write. Write as much as your inspiration will let you, and as soon as the words run dry, check the word count. You may be to 5,000 words for all you know, but it takes so much longer, and it feels like it takes so much longer when you're watching that word count every single day. The third thing is surround yourself with other friends and competitors. Now competitors and friends can be the exact same thing, and in NaNoWriMo you don't really have competitors. Anyone can win. Um, not everyone does, of course, but everyone can win. So when I say competitors, I use the term very loosely. It's just pretty much participants and definitely, definitely have friends by your side. Friends in real life, friends from NaNoWriMo. Having all of those people there for you is going to be a amazing, an amazing advantage when it comes down to things. Because when you get stressed and you don't feel like writing, you have all of these people behind you and beside you and all around you that are willing to help you. And especially when you're friends with competitors, they know what you're going through. They understand. So you can go to them and talk to them and you can be each other's inspiration. The fourth thing is prepare yourself well. Now, personally, I don't think that I had enough caffeine for NaNoWriMo this year, but I also don't have enough money to go to Starbucks and get a latte every single day because that crap's expensive. Just saying. But Prepare yourself with what you know your body will need. In my instance, I definitely needed more caffeine. Coming home, doing my homework, and then writing 1,667 words on top of that could get pretty stressful at times, and I was very tired some days. And so some days I didn't write. You can watch as many YouTube videos as you want that tell you how to prepare for NaNoWriMo, but when it comes down to it, you are the only one that knows what's really best for you. Number five know what you're writing before you write it. Now I have said this in some previous vlogs that I didn't do the middle section of my plot timeline and that came back to bite me in the butt a little bit. If I had taken the time and not been so lazy to plant out some more plot points it definitely would have been easier for me. Of course the plot progressed more naturally I believe but getting into that was a little bit harder than it could have been had I had a little bit more plot points along the way to guide where I was going. I also understand that not everyone does that when they write NaNoWriMo. Some people don't even have a story that they want to write until the first day of NaNoWriMo, but it is definitely helpful and will not hurt you in any way whatsoever to plan out what you're writing before you start writing it. Number six. Don't intimidate yourself. I thought this was going to be one of the most difficult things that I've ever done, and to be completely honest, it was probably one of the easiest things that I've ever done. Um, I was going into it with the expectation that it was going to be hard, that I wasn't going to write 1,667 words a day, that I wasn't going to want to write that many words a day, but it was really easy actually, and I know that it is not easy for some people, but this piece of advice still applies. Do not intimidate yourself. You have an entire month, 30 days. Might not sound like that much time, and in all reality, it really isn't all that much time, but you still have all of that time. That is 30 periods, 30 days of 24 hours. So basically, you could technically pull 24 hour days. You could not sleep a single hour all day and be writing for all 24 hours. You would be nuts, and I think that you would probably need some help after that, but it's entirely possible. But do not intimidate yourself. NaNoWriMo is not supposed to be intimidating. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a challenge. So don't make it something that is going to put so much pressure on you and so much intimidation on you that it isn't fun anymore. Make sure that you're keeping it fun while trying to meet the, expect the expectations for winning NaNoWriMo. The seventh thing that I wrote down is do not write when you're stressed. I made this mistake and I was a crying mess because I was so stressed. I didn't want to write. I didn't want to do my homework. I didn't want to do anything, but NaNoWriMo was taking precedence over my homework, which is bad. Do not do that. But do not write if you're stressed. Writing when you're stressed is not going to help you at all. 
it will not help you, it will not help your story, your characters will hate you for the rest of forever because you'll probably write some super evil scene because you're feeling so stressed that you just want to kill all of your characters and then you'll kill someone and then you'll come back the next day and be like, I killed someone, but I can't delete it because I have to keep moving forward. Meet the Robinsons, keep moving forward. <laughs> Number eight has to go with preparing yourself and being stressed is take care of yourself first. I have said this before, one of the YouTubers that was doing NaNoWriMo that I was communicating with is Brie, and she chose to continue competing in NaNoWriMo, but she wasn't going to compete in it to win because it was affecting her health. And if I had followed her advice, which looking back on it now, I probably should have slowed down a little bit and taken care of myself more, I may or may not have finished, but I would have been in a better mental and physical and emotional state. Now, of course, I finished my novel like nine days ago, I think, so I have had time to sit back, relax, do nothing, not write a single word, pretty much, but it is super, super important that you take care of yourself. I have said this so many times, but NaNoWriMo will come back next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. NaNoWriMo will always be here for you to win it. it if you are hurting yourself mentally, physically, or emotionally to the point where it's almost debilitating, stop. Just don't do that to yourself. It is super important that you take care of you because you are necessary to write. Like, your novel is not going to write itself unless you are present. You are the only one that can write your novel. Hey, it may not even be an original idea, but no one will write it like you can. And you can't write or even write well if you are a sobbing mess rocking back and forth in the corner because you're so stressed. So take care of yourself because that's the most important thing that you can do for NaNoWriMo. I should have done that a little bit better, but there's no going back now and I suppose I don't regret it. But I cannot stress enough that taking care of yourself is the most important thing. And if you can't win NaNoWriMo and if you have to drop out of NaNoWriMo because taking care of yourself is not allowing you to compete, then do so. NaNoWriMo will be here next year. You can win it next year. Don't stress out about winning it this year because it's not mandatory. Um, and now we're moving on to the congratulations corner. So congratulations to these 13 people that have won yesterday and today. And as I said earlier in the video, I will make an all-encompassing list later this evening around 9.30 or 10. But congratulations to these 13 people. You have won. NaNoWriMo is over, but you have still won. And congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I hope you guys are proud of yourself as well. I hope to see all of you guys next year and that your names will be on next year's Congratulations Corner. For today's video, I will not see you again tomorrow for another NaNoWriMo vlog, but I will still say in the meantime, happy writing, and there may or may not be another video out today that tells you a little bit more about where I'm going to go from here, because this is my last NaNoWriMo vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that this ride has been as fun for you as it has been for me. I just want to thank you again for all of your support and all of your care, and just communicating with me and all of the positive feedback that I've gotten on my NaNoWriMo vlogs. I'm very, very thankful for everything that I have been given, and I'm very, very lucky for everything that I have been given. I will still be doing my regular vlogs on Sundays starting next Sunday, and I'm also going to be starting something else that I'm going to be doing on Wednesdays, but that will be in the other video if that is uploaded today. If not today, it will be uploaded some other time. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much it, and I will see you guys whenever I see you. Peace out.